If you have some silver jewelry or silver cutlery that have tarnished over time, here are six ways that you can get rid of the tarnish on the surface and bring back the beautiful silver color on your object with the most common food that you can find in your kitchen. All these are really simple as well. I will also tell you which one is the best for small silver jewelry such as ring, necklace, pendant and bracelets and which one is ideal for bigger silver objects such as silver spoon, silver knife and even silver plates and of course the reasons as well let's get started the first one and it's also my most favorite one because it smells so good looking at it already make me feel very healthy that is lemon juice with olive oil the good thing about using olive oil and lemon juice to clean the silver is when the process is finished it makes my jewelry smell so delicious that I almost want to eat it. So here, I cut a fresh lemon, squeeze the juice out. As usual, I like to use glass and ceramic cutlery. Because in this way, I don't need to worry if there will be any unexpected reaction with my cutlery. I use a measuring spoon to help me get 5 ml of olive oil and 12.5 ml of fresh lemon juice. That's the proportion I'm going to use today. Mix them well and that is my magic potion. Here's my paper clip bracelet in solid sterling silver. It has been left in the open air for about 6 months. You can see it has turned brown and it got tarnished quite badly. So I put it inside of the mixture and make sure it is fully submerged. After 30 minutes, I rub it with my hands. You can see the brown color is starting to come off the surface. Let's check it again in another hour. Now we can see the tarnish is completely gone. Wish you could smell it, it smells so delicious. To get rid of the mixture, it needs to be cleaned with detergent and rinsed thoroughly underwater. Compared to the lemon juice, you really don't need that much of olive oil here. So the amount of mixture you are going to get really depends on how many lemons you want to use and how much juice you can squeeze out of each of them. This way is best for small jewelry such as bracelets, chain necklaces, small pendants, and small rings. If you like this video so far, do you mind clicking the like button? Thank you. The second food that we can use to clean the tarnish on the surface of our silver, it's really amazing because it is ready-made, so we don't need to mix it with anything at all. That is tomato sauce. In America, it's called ketchup. To do that, you simply squeeze some ketchup into a dipping bowl. Here, you can see the sterling silver walrus is covered with a layer of tarnish. Dip it inside of the ketchup. Make sure it is fully covered. Leave it there for 30 minutes. And that's it. You can see the brownish color is completely gone on both sides. Rinse it thoroughly with water and job done. It is as simple as that. This method is really handy if you have only a few small pieces of silver jewelry to clean. The only thing about using tomato sauce is if the object that you need to clean is big, that means you are going to use a lot of the tomato sauce. For bigger silver objects, unless you want to pour away lots of ketchup, I would use the next method. The third food stuff that you can use to clean the tarnish on your silver object is baking soda. This way also requires the help of aluminum foil. If you don't have aluminum foil, you can also use aluminum plate or an aluminum container to do it as well. 
Again, I use a glass bowl here. When you look at the aluminum foil, one side is shinier than the other. Make sure it is the shiny side that is facing upwards to touch our silver. Cover the bowl with the aluminum foil. You need to use baking soda, but I only have baking powder in my kitchen. It will work as well in this case. Because if you look into the ingredients, baking powder actually contains baking soda, so it will do the job. This is the ring that I want to clean. It is fully covered with tarnish in every single angle at the moment. My bowl is not that big. I use the small ceramic spoon to measure one scoop of baking powder. When putting the ring into the bowl, make sure the ring you want to clean is touching the aluminum foil. Pull 300 ml of boiling hot water into the bowl. You see the mixture turns white instead of transparent. That is because there is rice flour in my baking powder. If you use baking soda instead, your mixture will turn transparent. Leave it there for 30 minutes. You can see my mixture has turned clearer and there is a white deposit sitting at the bottom of my bowl. That white deposit is the rice flour I mentioned earlier. Now my ring has a new look. It has turned shiny again. Once it is done, rinse the ring thoroughly under water and all the tarnish is gone. This is the best way for cleaning big silver objects because, as you can see, I haven't used that much baking powder and aluminum foil is really affordable. For example, if it is a silver plate, all you need to do is to make sure you find a basin or a container in which you can fully merge your silver objects and ensure the silver comes into contact with the aluminum foil. Just to clarify that, the aluminum foil doesn't need to cover the container, so you don't need a big piece at all. As far as the aluminum is present, and it is touching the silver object that you want to clean, the magic will work. The fourth way to clean your silver with full stuff is mix vinegar with baking soda. I use 150 ml of distilled vinegar mixed with 1 tablespoon of baking powder. This is also a very good way to clean big silver objects because you don't need to use expensive vinegar. The one I use here is only 50 cents for a bottle of distilled vinegar over 550 ml. And the baking powder I use here is dirt cheap as well. I chose the cheapest one I can find in my supermarket. My mixture is in room temperature. I have a different ring here. It has been badly tarnished. Leave it in the mixture for 30 minutes. And rinse it thoroughly in tap water. You can see that all those yellowish brown looking tarnish is gone. The fifth way to clean your silver with food is to use lemon and salt. Here's the lemon juice left over from earlier. Pull some salt into the juice to make a paste. The one I need to clean here is the silver stick. You can see the entire thing is covered with tarnish. With this method, you rub the lemon juice and salt paste directly onto the silver. I'm only going to do this on a section of this silver stick, so you can compare later. This method is good for items without many details, because you need to rub the paste on the surface. Any intricate silver items with gaps or details will be hard to get into by simply rubbing on the surface. After rubbing it for a few minutes, you can see that on the section that I have been rubbing the paste on, the tarnish is gone. 
The rest of this silver stick is still covered with tarnish. Next, rinse it in tap water. Job done. The last way to clean your silver with food is to use corn flour. I use roughly a tablespoonful of corn flour. Mix it into a thick paste. This is a silver bicycle. You can see that the surface is covered with a layer of tarnish. Merge it into the paste. Make sure it is fully covered. Come back in 2 hours when the water has evaporated a bit. Because the paste has turned thicker, it is not easy to take my bicycle out. Rub the surface with a bit of the paste still on. And that's it! Again, this way is good for silver item with no details on. Clean all the corn flour off with water and my shiny bicycle is back. Among these six ways, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment below. If you like this video, you might also want to check out the one here. I will see you in the next one.